Hi Taurus, welcome, welcome. This is your reading for August 30th to September, sorry, 31st to September 13th. Before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about the space and the vibe for your reading today. So when I was getting the space ready to read, pulling all my cards out, sometimes I will pull crystals into the space, not always, but more often than not I do. And sometimes it's just crystals that I have hanging out that I'll bring in usually, but sometimes I'll have crystals that actually jump to my mind. And that happened today when I was pulling the cards out, getting the space ready to read. I have an obsidian balm and it like jump. You can see my ring lights in there. It's funny. Um, I have an obsidian ball and it like seriously jumped into my mind's eye when I was preparing for the reading today. Um, and then the second crystal that jumped into my mind's eye was my smoky quartz. And just, there's a third one, but just to kind of, you know, obsidian is not a crystal that I keep out for all the readings. It's not a crystal that I work with even on a daily basis. Yes, it's out with my other crystals and stuff in my space, but it is a pretty intense crystal. That being said, or stone, I guess, um, it's like lava, right? Like hardened lava. Um, it is not a stone that I keep around all the time for that reason. It's kind of intense, but also it is a stone that works with negative energies, particularly as like a protective stone or like dispelling or blocking negative energies, right? Um, so for that to immediately jump to my mind and then this one immediately following smoky quartz also really really potent at dispelling or protecting against negative energies i when i was grabbing the obsidian ball i also did see this one i can't remember the name of this but it works to protect against like um like technological tech technological frequencies like electronic frequencies so and this jumped out to me too when i was um grabbing the obsidian it was there and i was like oh that one wants to come too and it's like okay so we have three stones of protection here that is kind of significant so I don't know what's going to come out in your reading. If there's no negative energy in your reading, I'm not going to inter like inject it into the reading. I'm going to read what comes out. But I think that's important to note. That being said, I am filming all three of the earth signs today. This might not particularly be for you, Taurus, but I kind of feel like it is. I'm not going to lie. You know, so I just want to put that out there. And on that note, I also want to mention that anything that comes to your mind when readers or anybody mention, even just people in your day-to-day -day life mention negative energy, if something comes to mind, that's kind of like a first, and I don't mean to sound holier than thou, it's just, you know, a little truth nugget that like... And I often say this in my readings, like whatever, and not just with negative energy, but with ed topics in general, the first thing that comes to your mind, and if there is anything that comes to mind when I mention negative energy, um, think on that, you know, that's probably <laughs> relevant, you know, that's probably what it is, or that's probably what this reading is about, or if it's not negative energy, you know what I mean? Take stock of that, I guess, is what I'm saying, and do with that what you will, but pay attention to it, right? Because that's kind of like admitting to ourselves where we have an attachment to something or a less than ideal presence in our life that we need to cut out, move away from take a closer look at what have you but I do feel the need to let you guys know that protective stones are 
present today, whether that's, you know, negative energies around you. We'll see what comes out in the reading, but there might be a, a reason, like a need for that extra protection for you guys. So big long ramble. That was like five minutes. I'm so sorry, but I am also prepping the deck. Um, so let's jump into it. We have two moon cycles of note, uh, super moon tonight. This is Wednesday as I'm recording this. So, you know, that's super potent for tomorrow as I'm releasing this, the 30th, the moon tonight in Pisces. And then we have the new moon in Virgo on the 14th. So the day after it's like just cutting off that two week window that I'm releasing this for. So let's see what the cards want to talk about today. What's up with Taurus, please? What's coming out for Taurus? There's a King of Wands. Showing didn't come out, kind of flipped up, but I'm not taking it, okay? <laughs> really? <laughs> There's that King of Wands there. Okay, I guess I am taking it. Interesting. Okay. I feel a lot of fire energy around everyone lately, but that could just be me. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we have a Princess and a King of Wands here. Not sure if this is the same energy. We'll get into it or not. That is a very powerful king there. He can... I just heard bend people to their will. Um, it's like... Passionate, fiery, driven. Think the king of fire, you know. And then a princess of wands as well. It's a lot of fire. They are very intense looking. Could be the same person. I'll clarify them separately just in case. Um... That's Aries and Leo energy. And then we have a Magician, Major for Gemini, Virgo. Gemini, Virgo. Oh, that's probably why I heard, which we are in Virgo season and we have that Virgo new moon. But that's probably why I'm getting that bend people to their will energy. Like, very dominating energy. If you can see their faces, um their bows like got their heads tilted they're looking up from their brow and they're like stern like try me test me or like don't you know um and then that magician the magician manipulates energy as well and then perfected success a ten of cups this is good we like this this is, they're married, they're, they're, you know, they're in a field on their farm, their kids are playing in the background, they're in a loving embrace. All is well in their world is the Ten of Cups. On the bottom, we have Princess of Pentacles, very demure, oh wow. So, I think this is the same person here. Because on the bottom, we have the Queen to the King of Wands and the Princess of Pentacles. Feminine energy. I want to clarify these two because this could definitely be a manifestation in like, not confrontation, but how they're meeting this king, I guess, you know, this king, I'm not feeling like this king is you, but it could be, but this is, um, this is like very earthy feeling to me, I'm feeling a demure energy off this, could have, you know, you or someone could have strong fire placements, for sure, that's funny, this panther is sticking out to me, because when I was prepping the animals, um, panther jumped out at me which is like a purging energy this would be like having to um put on a strong face right as i was like established strength and then there's a queen of pentacles wow so look at this we have yeah so maybe these are not quite the same person 
I think that this is the manifestation of how this queen, this more demure feminine energy, is having to approach or confront this king. So there may be a difference in a level of authority with this person. They could be a boss um, or just somebody like somebody successful or somebody very confident, definitely screaming confident. But it's funny because we have this like this like um, very demure queen of pentacles. There you guys are with the high priestess. Um, that Piscean energy. This is very, I just heard detached, but that's not quite what this is. It's inward. It's very inward, reflective, or I'm just getting a very demure energy off of this queen. Um, in tune, self-reflective, self-aware, but in facing this king, they're kind of having to approach or like this is at the forefront of their energy here and then we have established strength looking to the future looking to the horizon how does ten of cups play into this i'm not sure you could be in a relationship with this person this person could be i just heard challenging the sanctity of your marriage that's kind of weird um and then we have the hangman with the king of pentacles that piscean energy sorry i just cut to it and i was like oh there's that pisces full moon is there too okay so let's look at this king of wands first king of wands for taurus please show me this king's energy page of pentacles interesting three of wands okay i was gonna switch to the animals because the panther was showing i might still pull the animals out but it was like confirmation hit after confirmation with the Rider Waite. So let's look at this king's energy. This king of wands. King of pentacles. King of wands. Strength. Leo energy showing. This person could have brought up... If this isn't you, it could be you. But if this is a person, um, I was just going to say, there's a lot of cards showing of like the current moon and sun cycles. Um, this person could have presented a challenge to you around August 16th, that Leo new moon. Um, but I don't want to get too wrapped up in that. That's a lot. There's the magician. So look at the magician yet yeah, that is I'm seeing a lot of yellow a lot of yellow a lot of yellow a lot of yellow <coughs> <coughs> that's the solar plexus <coughs> chakra that's our personal power oh here's two of cups here I'm okay this is just screaming confidence to me was starting something new. Um, this magician is heralding that rod there, that candle, right? So look at the magician next. De I was gonna say, I don't remember if I said it, but I was like, these two feel like the same, same energy. Um, this is manifestational, like I said, making stuff happen. The Fool is coming out here, so we have Aries energy. Aries energy, that's embarking on a new journey. And then the Magician is like kind of following up with co-creation there. Like this is like jumping off of the, like right now I'm so, like this is zero, right? This is the start of tarot. This is the first start of major cycles followed by one magician, right? So I'm seeing it like I'm taking the leap, I'm taking the plunge, I'm jumping off of the cliff. And then it's kind of like, as you fall down the cliff, you're co-creating your way down, right? Your steps down, um, what you're plunging toward, the next, the, the road that you're building or the path that you're taking once you take this leap. It's, it's really hard to explain how I'm seeing it. It's a lot of yellow here. 
power powerhouse energy if this is all you this looks like kind of um a difference here in like being internal being reserved having to um take the world around you head on to address it looks like a love relationship or take the plunge or take a leap of faith here this definitely could also be a masculine man or woman just the one taking action towards this queen and taking those steps right and then it's funny because we have this two of cups two of cups cups coming together soul connections soul relationships two to the ten that's love looking like love relationships um and there's them building that step those that path on the way down towards this to make that happen but it's also like this is the coming together this night plans to build this night lays down those bricks one by one by one to make the path to this build it over time plans it out very interesting this king is making moves, starting a new cycle here. Kind of diligent. I'm just seeing it in that mind's eye as like them laying down the brickwork, putting in the effort, um, <clears throat> putting in the effort. But this is solid steps towards a connection here. Soulmate connection doesn't have to be marriage or love, but with this is certainly indicated for sure. Knight of Wands, very passionate. Wow, look at all that fire. Leo, 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 Saggy, Aries. All the fire signs are here. Um, underneath that, we have the chariot. That's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. Determination. There's your major there. Justice. Judgment. The hero font. That is a lot of, like do right by this energy what is right what is true to someone what is very determined with that energy they're putting in work here so this is good i'm not seeing anything negative about this i just see someone who's a very determined very determined <clears throat> so that's this magician over here i don't want the reading to get crazy long let's look at this princess of wands next I want to know what's up with her. Show me the Princess of Wands, the lovers. I knew that was going to show because it just did. Major for Gemini. We have a lot of Gemini showing now. The lovers. Tell me the princess. Tell me the princess. Show me the princess of wands, please. Lovers. Love relationships. Two of cups. Ten of cups. The lovers. Wow. This is like being bold. Being determined. There's that high priestess. Ten of cups. Temperance. Or now all the, yeah. Major for Saggy. Now they really are all here. Okay. So... This is being very aligned, 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 aligned. So with that magician uh, making steps in the real world to bring things together, make things happen, this is coming from a place of alignment with above as well. With that manifest manifestational energy, it's serving co-creator vibes in terms of like with these soul connections. I'm just, I'm also getting drawn to the lion on the top of the helix there, the, the shot. I could go on a whole rant about this here, but like, um, about how, like, the healthcare system, like, the two snakes, the sign of that. I can't remember the, um, not business, but you know what I mean, name that utilizes that um i want to say like first cross or something like that but it's like the two snakes right it's like a healthcare sign um but it's actually also a representation and typically like in 
um, history of medicine as the chakras. The chakras. This is a pretty spiritual read. Um, spirits backing this. There's the that Leo fire energy backing this. Um, these moves that this person is acting very in alignment with their higher self, with spirit. You know, it's here too. They're lit up in their crown. Spirit guiding there, that angel. <laughs> the same thing here. The same thing here. You know, and then we have temperance. Ooh, and the tower. Wow. Someone's going towards their eight of cups, their ten of cups there. Wow. This definitely actually looks like spirit is playing a pretty hefty hand in bringing these two people together it looks like two people a soulmate relationship for sure this tower definitely could be spirit um and in following this it's calling for you know both of you guys to act in alignment right wow move towards that this is moving towards unity harmonious ten of cups vibe that's very nice that's lovely we like that there's a truth here about holding back missing opportunities not feeling in flow i just feel like spirit intuition be screaming be screaming um queen the princess looking towards the future the nicer the calmer waters the higher horizon here's this this um queen so i'm just looking at everything mm. okay so somebody has to relinquish a little bit of control here there's aries energy could be this uh king because this queen is in a very receptive state here. There is a truth here about seizing opportunities. There's a held back position here, not giving to this opportunity or not seeing things for what it is or seeing something clearly with that ace of swords. Um, Emperor is very rigid, structured, um, exercises a lot of control. That's a very controlling, domineering position to be in. And then underneath that, we have harmonious change. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. This king has to let it flow. King has to let it flow. Because um, this is majorly in alignment. So let's look at this Ten of Cups. Of ones. Very attractive couple or attracted to each other. Oh, geez. Justice. Divine justice. I'm getting off that. Oh, I hate when that happens. Ooh, youthful, fresh, open to new experiences and emotions. Page of cups here. Let it flow, let it flow. That's the page of cups, open to filling your cup or exploring what's in their cup. And a pentacle is nice. Mm. This is such a weird thing to say, but I saw five of pentacles, which is like the card of whack. And then there's like going to a nine of pentacles, like something about this union or moving closer towards it makes you guys stronger. Anything else from Rider Waite? And then I'll want to pull. Wow. <laughs> There's the star, Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. There's some new ideas and perspectives coming in here. Um, so we have that Virgo energy on the bottom. Virgo, new moon on the 13th. Wow. Queen of Cups now. There's that Emperor again. That harmonious change, right? 
So this emperor, this masculine energy, I'm taking it as this king, needs to relinquish some control, needs to open themselves up to flowing with this. Um, cause they're, like, even in the Rider Waite, like, they're very rigid, stern looking. This is giving to a situation, especially with that Four of Pentacles vibe, which is, like, holding on, holding out. Um, there is a devil in the mix here, too. And it's just, they're very rigid, right, with that control. This is giving, right? Giving to a situation, flowing with it, that harmonious change that we saw earlier, right? There is the moon in Pisces, full moon in Pisces, right? There is definitely in this reading some intuitive hits, some feelings that are coming up at the soul level with you and this person or this person and this queen's already in tune with that it's coming up with this moon energy i would like to say that is a very intuitive energy with the high priestess and the lovers there that is being totally in alignment with one's intuition um and then we have the card of soul searching and the star was peeking out too which is what the hermit's looking for in their lantern this is victory, attention, success, all the good things, right? Um, but this is a soul-searching process. And we have the Six of Cups, which is the soul, memories, childhood, karmic even, can relate to patterning. Um, so I will pull a little bit from the Romance Angels deck about this king here. And you know, it pretty much all came out. There's some control that needs to be let go of here. Children are also indicated here. <laughs> Show me this king. Trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. Mm. Yeah. One more shuffle to end the reading. Okay, one more. Anything else about this king for Taurus? That's a lot. Pay attention to the red flags. Heart to heart conversations. The signs are cautioning you. The signs are cautioning you. Um, with that, to me, that speaks of this Four of Cups energy, this very earthly power held back energy. The signs are cautioning to you. We've already talked about it. Spirit is talking. This is interesting. Strife and love. Um, that, to me, like, feels like holding a lot of power over relationships. Um, the signs are cautioning you. Like I said, spirit is kind of at the helm of this and is, I would dare even say, like, working hard to bring this together. And this, this person feels very resistant to that or they need, they're learning to go with the flow, learning to read the signs. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. Interesting. Attraction, true love, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. True love, attraction. Romance of a lifetime. You attract romantic love. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, so there's the resistance, right, of this king um, needing to learn to go with the flow and open themselves up to this, relinquish some control time apart from your partner is on the horizon it's just delaying and delaying and delaying um this coming together of this energy right um yeah so i'm gonna leave it at that taurus um your feelings are real and worth exploring let it flow let it flow let it flow Enjoy this moment fully. Uh, this definitely, whether that's you or someone else, requires this person to give in to the present moment.
follow the signs, trust the signs, um, you know, co-create with spirit, lay down those building blocks, but this is very methodical, smart, diligent planning and building, right? It, the Knight of Pentacles is thought out in how they build and prepare and lay down that, fo that foundation. It's more methodical and less, um, like fire tends to be very impulsive, right? Um, but in doing that, it's like purposeful, right? It's like, okay, the next, like there's something about being present in the moment with that. It's like, now I lay this brick. Now I lay this brick, right? And when we take that into consideration of like moment to moment, day to day, it looks like going with the flow instead of being like, this is the road I'm building and I'm laying it all down like that. You know what I mean? It's less methodical and more controlling. There's less room to flow with each brick. You know what I mean? As you step on to the next one, okay, now where's the next one gonna go? You know, it's like less rigid. Um, so I'm gonna leave it at that, Taurus. I wish you guys all the best. Until next time, take care.